think I think a government would, would find this very difficult, a very difficult standard to make mandatory. The wording throughout the standard is uh, it reinforces the point that it's a guidance standard. <coughs> Certainly, this was an issue that the working group considered, and there was a lot of controversy around uh, ISO and ISO standard on this subject. Um, and I think the wording in the standard and the wording at the start of the standard, I think, emphasises the voluntary nature of the standard. So I think the governments can might do whatever they want. But I think in this particular instance, they would find it very difficult to have ISO 26000 as a mandatory standard. If, however, they did, um, then uh, discussions that we had with the WTO, uh, particularly around technical barriers to trade and what have you, um, seems to indicate to us, I mean, the WTO is not definitive, but would indicate to us that they would not regard this as a trade barrier. They believe that the standard, again, is written in such a way that it is it would be seen as voluntary. So um, if even if governments or a government decided to make it mandatory, um, I don't believe that the WTO would actually recognise that, and um, in fact could could um, could actually uh, go the other way and say that um, the standard should not be uh, a part of regulation.